Hello, welcome back to Brand Station Learning. Uh, in this episode, uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, this tool that's actually hidden in Blender 4.0. Uh, it's actually a nodes and it's in relation of uh, with a 3D cursor. So let's say we have this icosphere over here, and if we go to edit mode, and we're gonna use this tool that's generated using geometry nodes. So we can place 3D cursor over there, and then we can trigger the geometry nodes. And I just created this giant uh, cone. I can, oh, I should actually make this here. So basically I can place 3D cursor over there, and then once again, go to edit mode and then trigger this tool. There, I just made a smaller icosphere. Create another one. So it, it put, it's putting the icosphere wherever the 3D cursor is placed. Okay, so, uh, so the tool is actually quite simple, but we can, we can make this quite easily. So, I mean, of course, uh, it's really, really simple, but in the past, you can't really do this easily unless you know Python and then you write an add-on uh, using Blender Python, something like that. But now you can actually do this. That's because of this hidden uh, geometry nodes tool. So under tool, so I made this tool. Yeah, I, it looks complicated, but it's actually really simple. You can actually look at this at a glance and then you understand what's going on. So this node is responsible for the whole thing, 3D cursor. And the setup is really simple. So you basically, you wanna have, uh, in this case, I'm generating this donut. To create a torus, you, you create this thing, right? And, and you either generate a cone or a torus and I'm using switcher and plug this into geometry and just transform geometry and join it together with the original geometry and just output the result. So you could, in, so with the 3D cursor and this tool, you can now in edit mode just, you know, it just generate things. I have a feeling it's still a kind of buggy at the time, but anyway, let's let's get started. Let's try. So we have a basic default cube. We're gonna create this tool. Geometry nodes. This guy is selected. Switch to the tool. Create new. Let's call this place object. Save it. Cursor node. So normally, 3D cursor is not available unless you are in inside the tool and then Shift A, just type in 3D, oops, Shift A cursor. Okay, now we have this tool, 3D cursor, and now it's just a matter of placing the object. It's very very simple. Cone. This is the the thing that we're gonna generate. There's a lot of attributes here that we can play around with. Uh, later, so join geometry. So we want to keep the original geometry. We want to bring in the this geometry. Transform geometry in. But we want to use this 3D cursor over here. So 3D cursor is actually quite important in Blender. It's under view. There's 3D cursor over here. So we can, we can modify the placement of 3D cursor like that. And there's also rot rotation or, and orientations. But the, the quickest way is shift, right click, and just place the 3D cursor where it's supposed to be. There is also this 3D cursor tool over here, but shift, right click is where. Uh, this is how I like to place it. Uh, so, Input, join, yeah, 3D cursor location, 
that's where we're gonna place the objects okay so that's that's actually easy and it's also it's already already working so this one right it's placing the object place the objects place the objects you might notice oh hey hey you know what how about the orientations now the orientations it's something to do with rotations if we just plug this there oh it's complaining what's going on that's because the rotation here is uh it's expecting quaternion quaternion and this one is Euler you need to convert rotation from quaternion to Euler okay so this part is actually tricky quaternion rotation to quaternion okay let's use this okay this one is actually break breaking the we want to quaternion to rotations or rotation to Euler okay that's the one just keep this in mind there's a lot of nodes dealing with rotations this is the one what you the one that you want plug the rotation there let's see if this is working okay still doesn't seem to work that's because of I know uh, this is the solution because I asked at the forum as the blender artist forum this should be quaternion there's a lot of option here with 3D cursor, axis ang angle, quaternion. Okay. Now, we, if we test it out, now it's it's correctly facing the directions of the normal of the objects. Or, or it's basically what the 3D cursor can help you with uh, with the placement of objects. So let's try again. Atmosphere. See. When we generate an object, it's placing it at 3D cursor as well. Option G, option R to reset it. Um, I want a icosphere that's a little bit simple. Let's reset the position. Now, okay, go to edit mode. So, so this tool, of course, it's only working at inside edit mode. You can also make it to work inside sculpt mode if you want to. You can do that. So let's save this. It's already a working tool. Maybe we want to make it a little bit fancier. No, I, I just reduce the vertices. I want to control over the radius and the depth. So now it's in edit mode. 3D cursor can be placed. Uh, the size also, you don't have option to control the size at the moment. I mean, we can do it over here. Okay, so that's cool. Shift right click, place the 3D cursor, Shift R, Shift R, Shift R. Ah, uh, okay. It's reset. <laughs> it's resetting itself. And it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's still a work in progress tool. Shift R. Shift R. Shift R. Shift R. Shift R. Uh, we can also place it there. Shift R. You see? That's really cool. I don't know. Uh, it's a really simple tool. It's just a placing objects on top of another objects. Just the way it works with a 3D cursor. You can replace this cone with another objects, cylinder, or another icosphere, whatever. Uh, in this case, I will I'll create a torus very quickly. Curve circle. Uh, curve to mesh. Okay, it's classic. Classic donut, mess out, go into the switch, actually, switch, it's 
goes out this goes in to the transform geometry where we use the 3d cursor so only this actually doing the job for us so we don't need to worry about the rest it's actually really simple to use now this is this is where we can be okay we'll, we can fill the caps oh in this case don't worry about that i mean yeah go to edit mode place 3d cursor there trigger our tool oh it's back huge uh, okay the dev is not working because we didn't assign anything to that okay so so that's basically the tool it's super simple <laughs> it just it's funny right it's funny how okay we, the, the radius we need to fix that maybe it's too big so we need to place we need a way to just create an array you know like sometimes you just wanted to do that at least now we can we can place it on any any flat surface it's a donut you know it's gonna it's gonna accumulate on that area of course you can also turn it back into a cone with the depth so it's funny it's funny little tool but just it's just just such a simple tool like that allowing you to create something like this and it's a uh, that's really really powerful it's almost like if you okay it's resetting itself If you want to control the the default value, it's over here. Maybe default it to 0 0.2, 0 0.1 here. The depth, we set it to 0 So originally I have no knowledge of uh, coding, but I learned about coding and programming through books, but actually recently through YouTube mostly. Um, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of uh, information out there. It's just offer the place, but uh, you can, you can create, you can learn about programming and geometry notes actually really helpful. There's a lot of advanced geometry nodes that can help you. Uh, even if you are kind of weak with math, with math or you don't know coding, don't worry because it's everything just nodes, visual nodes. And uh, now we have this ability to create tool that works in edit mode, in Blender. So the tool can work interactively. And in this case, I really, I really love 3D cursor. Uh, it's really powerful in Blender. Not many people know this. If you are not from Blender, you might think, okay, that's 3D cursor. That's really annoying, that thing. But that icon thing is very powerful, especially in placing object. So I can just keep doing this all day it's a I don't know it's just a, such a simple simple tool <laughs> right and it now it, it's also working inside scalp mode can you believe it so now we are in a scalp mode you can remass it go 
go nuts. Oh, inside the sculpt mode, we cannot place 3D cursor as easily. That's interesting. Normally in edit mode. Ah, okay. So in this case, just keep it working inside edit mode. That's it. Type, mesh or curve. That's going to be interesting when we start to... So at the moment, the fastest way to trigger this, shift R, right? Place 3D cursor, shift R. So what are we really making? <sighs> We're making <laughs> such a random thing. Let's go mode, grimace. Even though it's random, uh, random is quite, quite beautiful. It's, it's, it's not non-symmetrical, but you can always use geometry nodes and then type in mirror we can make it into something flip okay shade smooth maybe shade smooth you know it's something something and it doesn't have to it doesn't need to be anything you can go really abstract in 3d Nowadays, okay, of course, 3D, mostly it's for commercial stuff. So everything needs to look like something. But you can go, you can always go a little bit abstract and, you know, inflate it, inflate. I love to inflate. Inflate. Inflate and deflate. And then just use for the explain. At this point, at this point is uh, just having fun. Just paint it. This is a vertex pane, and you can of course render it. If you want to export this out, you need to you need to bake it first. But it's just a. Uh, Something that we, we made out of ordinary, you know. I'm hitting X to quickly change the color. So we made this completely abstract looking thing. But if we come back to what we have accomplished today, edit mode, shift, right click, place object. Cool little, cool little handy tool. There's a there's a proper tool. I think uh, Kushiro might have made a align tool. So with align tools, you can actually in edit mode you can place, you can generate an object and you can you can place it on top of this object based on the face. So that's that's going to be handy. So funny, uh, with the 3D, it uh, seems like if you just, just place object randomly, it doesn't make sense, right? But if you place object and then it's carefully placing it, just like in, in real life physics, you know, like you cannot overlap objects. In, in 3D, it's the same. Uh, apparently, if you if you just overlap things, just like, it's ridiculous it doesn't make sense but if they are kind of on top of each other and place if they are not overlapping it's almost organically natural so keep keep that in mind so okay so we made something <laughs> it's an art anyhow hopefully you find this useful uh, it's a tool inside geometry nodes you can only use this under 4.0 this is hidden this is hidden tools one of the hidden tools out of many, many other tools. Uh, try to understand this for now. Rotations, quaternion, become Euler, plug into that. It's really simple. Give it a try, see what you can make. Maybe combine this with array stuff. Um, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.